In this lesson, we're going to focus on the order of operations. And if you're following me on algebraclass.com, you'll know that this is the second example in our order of operations lesson. And we're focusing on particular types of grouping symbols. Now, we're used to using PEMDAS, and we know that the P stands for parentheses, but it also stands for any other type of grouping symbol. And in this problem, we're going to focus on the fraction bar as our grouping symbol. So this bar here, the fraction bar, is considered a grouping symbol because we have an expression in the numerator and an expression in the denominator. And because of that, we need to make sure that we group our numerator together and our denominator together. And this means that we need to evaluate everything in the numerator first and then evaluate everything in the denominator. And so that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to follow the order of operations for the numerator first and then evaluate the denominator. So in the numerator, I do have a set of parentheses. That's 4 minus 2 inside, and 4 minus 2 is 2. I'm going to leave it in parentheses for right now, just the 2, and bring down the rest of the problem. So I'm going to bring down the numerator and the denominator, just so I don't lose anything. So now my parentheses are gone, and I'm going to look for exponents. I do have an exponent here, so I'm going to evaluate 2 squared, or 2 to the second power. 2 to the second power means 2 times 2, which is 4. And now, in the numerator, I have all addition and subtraction. I have no multiplication or division, and I need to evaluate the addition and subtraction in order from left to right. So 4 plus 4 is 8, and 8 minus 7 is 1. So in my numerator, I end up with 1. But I'm not finished, because remember, our grouping symbol, the fraction bar, told us that we needed to evaluate the numerator first, but now we need to evaluate the denominator. So I'm going to move over here just to give me some more room. And 1 is our numerator. And now I need to go back through the order of operations again with the denominator. So I do not have any parentheses. Even though you see this parentheses here, it's not really a parenthesis in terms of grouping symbols because there's only a number inside. There's no expression to evaluate. This set of parentheses are only indicating that we're multiplying negative 2 or minus 2 here times 7. So we don't really consider that a grouping symbol in terms of parentheses. So we would say that we have no parentheses. For exponents, we have no exponents. So now it's multiplication or division. I do have multiplication here. So I'm going to bring down the 30 in the minus sign. And 2 times 7 is 14. And I'm going to bring down the rest. And now notice that I'm left with all addition and subtraction. So I have no multiplication or division. And I have just addition and subtraction left. So I'm going to start from left to right. 30 minus 14 is 16. And 16 plus 4 is 20. So the final answer is 1 20th. So again, in this lesson, we're just focusing on when you have a fraction bar with expressions in the numerator and denominator, make sure that you evaluate the numerator first and then the denominator.